All right, let's start with our warm up. So just breathe deep, exhale all that stress and challenge from the morning educational system stuff out of the mind. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, and ribs in and up, chest open. Relax your shoulders, and just lengthen up through your spine. So keep your breath full and deep. Exhale all the stress and tension. And then inhale and bring your arms out to the side. Stretch through your fingertips and your head. Exhale, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then exhale, your hands behind, clasp your fingers, lift your heart, stretch your spine, and exhale, pivoting over. So bring your hands up as high as they'll go. Tuck your chin in, move your neck around a little bit, get the circulation going through the whole back of your body. And then inhale and work your way back up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down, expand through the heart. And then inhale upright, exhale and release. Take a moment feeling all that circulation starting. And again, inhaling, reach out, exhale to your chest, stretch to the front. And clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Heart toward the ceiling, stretch your spine open, exhale over, and again relax. So you can bend your knees a little bit or lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees and get those hamstrings lengthening maybe a little bit more. Deep breaths. And then with your chin in, just wind your way up and then open the heart. Stretch your head back and relax into that back bend in your upper body. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Just take a moment feeling all that circulation through your spine. Inhale the arms out and exhale to your heart. Oh, we already did that. Stretch forward and release. <laughs> Okay, inhale, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders and clasp your hands for a side stretch. So again, lengthen up and lean over and push your foot, you're leaning away from you. Get those ribs stretching apart, breathe into that side and inhale back up and switch your hands. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, ribs in. Lean to the other side, no twisting. And breathe. And then inhale back up, exhale, and release. And get ready for your twist, so stretch everything apart for the spine. Palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Stretch your head and elbows out, Exhale and twist, knees bent a little bit, stretch up, keep the weight on both feet and come over in your twist and relax. So just deepen as much or as little as your body needs this morning. Exhale and relax. And inhale your way back. Heart toward the ceiling, elbows back, look overhead. Stretch through your spine in the upper body, especially be careful with your low back. Exhale to the center, switch your arms around, pull your arms by your ears again. Sitting bones, shoulder blades down, stretch your spine apart and exhale for your twist. Weight on both feet evenly and exhale over. So into your forward bend as much as you want on this side. See how the weight is distributed between your two feet. See if it can be a little more even. And then slowly work your way back up. Elbows back, heart high, shoulders down, and breathe. 
and inhaling, come up, exhale to the center. Arms up above your shoulders, pull your shoulders back down, keep your back flat, pivot. So at the top of the thighs, that joint is just coming into a 90 degree angle, so you're parallel to the floor. And then drop down into ragdoll, just release everything. Pull your hands behind your legs and pull in. Really stretch that lower back a little bit more. And then release back to the front and roll back into mountain pose and release. Take a moment feeling your spine, lengthening it, filling your lungs, exhaling, and releasing tension. Kind of feel your body. Make sure that you're still feet parallel to each other facing the front. Hands to your heart, looking at them, and inhale them towards the ceiling. Pull them back. Get that chest rising as you come into that upper body back bend. And then exhale, hands to your heart, all the way down, and relax in ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, press into your shins. Everything straight, so knees, elbows, spine. You can tuck your chin in a little bit, get that back of the neck stretching also. And then exhale back down, palms together, and wind your way to your heart, and release. So take a moment there to stretch things apart, and Let's do our little windmill swing. So just back and forth, getting things moving through that whole length of your body. So be careful that you're not locking up your knees. Keep the shoulders relaxed down. And just go a little further at each end of the circuit, getting things really moving and circulation improving. And then back to the center and our backstroke and swimming motion. So bring the arm close to your ear as it comes up and back. And the whole body is moving. So that spine is getting a little bit more rotation as you go through this backstroke. And then bring both arms up. Stretch one high. Come up on the opposite toe. So the side you stretch, you're working through the obliques, through the ribs. Stretch it out. And then exhale down and do the other side up. And again, the toe, the heel comes up, toes are down on that side. The body isn't is stretching away from. And then both arms up, stretch it out. Swan dive, pivoting forward, arms at shoulder level, body flat. And then down into ragdoll again. Slide your hands up. Straighten your spine, exhale back down, arms out to the sides, shoulder level not behind you or in front, straighten your back, pivoting at the, at the hip joint, and pivot all the way up, arms should still be shoulder level, and then raise them to the ceiling, and exhale to your heart. So take a moment there, returning to mountain pose, spread your toes out. And we'll do a balance. So pick your balance foot that you like best and spread out the toes. So the base of the toes connect, the toes don't grip, or they'll raise that base. So get them spread out but not crunching down. The whole bottom of your foot is down, so the outside of your foot is connected all over that arch lift so that you've got that whole bottom of your foot really connected. Ankle, knee, hip shoulder, everything stretching up through the spine, and bring your other foot up a little or more or toward your heart. And then work your ankle, circling one way, then the other way, and pointing and flexing a few times. And release. Shift to the other side. And do the same thing. So really get the base of the toes connected, but not the toes. Get the arch lifting, the whole bottom secure down to the mat, the floor. Ankle, knee, hip, 
shoulder, everything stacked for support so those bones are working for you. And reach up through the spine as you bring your other foot up wherever you want it to go. And again, work your ankle and the other way. Flex and point. And release. And we're back in mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling grounded and relaxing. Angle your feet to the side so your knees and toes go the same direction. You open from the hips, remember. And bend your knees over your toes, not beyond. We don't want to ruin our knees. Hands above your knees and pelvic tilt. So sitting bones go back, chest goes forward. Remember, we're doing that. Back bend, and then we're sitting bones down, ribs in, forward bend. So the upper body, shoulder area doesn't move, and the legs don't move. It's just that hip and pelvis area getting things working through that lower abdominal area. So just breathe as you do that. Feel your spine. I think we'll do a lot of spine work this morning. So just focus there, breathing and releasing tension. And then bring yourself back up to standing and into mountain pose. So take a moment there, feeling your circulation, just allowing everything to be energized. And we're gonna bring the arms up and pivot over. And let's come down to child's pose. So Sandy, we might be on our hands and knees. So if you want to be on the carpet for that, you might want to move now. So go ahead and relax. Forehead toward the floor. Let that lower back stretch. So knees together, allowing that lower back to get a good stretch. And then bring your arms out in front. And pivot up, bringing your knees under your hips, feet straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up for your upper body. Ribs up, supporting your lower back, chest slightly toward the floor, coming into table with your back flat. So go ahead and drop your ribs down, lift your sitting bones, look forward, crown toward the ceiling, back bend in your cat position. And then lift your ribs, sitting bones toward the mat, top of the head down toward the mat, chin in, in that rounded angry cat. And just inhale. So one bone at a time coming into the back bend. And then again, one bone at a time from that sitting bone area arching up. So just go ahead and work through that a few times through your body. Winding through your spine, just allowing your whole body to feel each bone moving as much as you can. Forward bends and backward bends. Breathing with it, inhaling into the back bend, exhaling into the forward bend. And then coming back to neutral, lengthen through your spine. Let's look over one shoulder, back to your foot, and return to the center. Over your other shoulder, lateral motion, looking toward your foot, and then again back to the center. Lengthen and stretch your spine. And then slide one hand forward, elbow under your shoulder. Slide that shoulder further toward your hand and or rotate into your twist, looking toward the opposite shoulder or further up. And exhaling, face back toward the floor, slide the hand back into place and table position. And other side. Hand sliding forward, elbow right under your shoulder. Push the shoulder forward toward that hand on the mat and rotate, looking toward your shoulder or the ceiling for a little more twist. So your whole body is turning into the twist, remember. Do what's right for your spine. And then, again, exhale, facing the floor. Slide back up 
into table. Bring one foot back and up to hip level, stretch it out, and bring the opposite hand and stretch it forward. So you can keep looking at the floor, neck stretching along with the whole spine. And then hand to the mat, knee to the floor. And we'll do the other side, foot back, back up to hip level, and arm out in front, stretching it forward. Hand down, knee back into place. And just take a moment there, checking to make sure everything is nice and straight and flat through your spine. And then again, one foot back, up to hip level, opposite hand forward. Turn the palm up, bend your knee, bring that foot right up. So a little inner rotation with that thigh to make sure the foot goes up toward the ceiling. And then foot and hand go higher, a little bit more back bend with that. And then straighten things out, palm toward the floor, hand to the mat, knee down. Take a moment to regroup in position. Remember, you can circle that wrist if you ever need to. And we'll do the other side. Foot up, hip level, opposite arm out, shoulder level, stretch it out, turn the palm to the ceiling, bend your knee, rotating that thigh in a little bit, and then lift the foot and the hand a little bit higher for your back bend as much as you like. And then straighten things out, palm to the floor, palm down and to the floor, knee down. And take a moment, sinking back toward your heels and releasing, circling those wrists one way and the other way to make sure that you're not overstraining them. And then we're going to come up on our hands and knees again. I'm going to turn to face you because I think it's going to be easier for you to see what I'm doing. You can stay where you are. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders are lined up. Knees under your hips. You can fold the mat if you need extra padding under your knees for this because we're going to go up on our knees. So bring one foot straight out to the side, toes to the front, and then walk your hands up and come into the knee. So this leg is straight out from your hip. Everything is even facing the front. Take that arm onto the leg. And bring the other arm out to the side, palm toward the floor, and then turn it up and bring it over your shoulder. We're going to side stretch. So bring your hand down that leg straight toward your ankle, foot, whatever, and stretch through the ribs on that side you're leaning away from. Reach your head toward your hand in the air. And let the hand on the leg keep sliding as much as it wants to. So think about pulling that top shoulder maybe a little bit back and look up toward the arm in the air so that you're not leaning forward with your shoulder or your body. So as much or as little as you'd like through that rib area, stretching it apart. And then inhale back up. Exhale your arm to the side. And then bring the hands in front under your shoulders and the knee back in. So this is gate pose. We're going to, of course, balance the body to the other side. So again, position, knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up to start. And then bring that other foot out, toes facing forward. Walk your hands up your leg and onto your knee. Again, the hand next to that extended leg stays on it. The other one out at shoulder level. Palm toward, the, palm toward the ceiling and over your shoulder. Stretch and slide and come into your sideways lateral motion once more on that opposite side. So again, you can look up toward the arm in the air to kind of help that shoulder make sure it's not leaning forward. And stretch your head and your hand in the same direction. This Hand on your leg, slides as far as it wants to go. As you exhale and relax, and maybe go a little further. Keep breathing. Exhaling tension. And just maximize as much or as little as you need for that side. And then inhale up. Release your arm. 
And again, hands to the floor, knee in. And one more time, sink back, circle your wrists as you come into that extended child's pose. So take a moment to breathe. And just allow your hips to relax back. And then inhale, sit up, bring your legs out in front and into staff position. So feet hip width apart, press the bottoms of your feet away, stack your spine, everything coming into alignment with those sitting bones. So legs straight out in front and spine stretching up. We're going to bend one knee and put the foot against the inner thigh on that other leg. Knee straight out to the side. Now adjust those sitting bones as much as you need to. And then bend your front knee and bring the heel near your hips. So get as connected into both sitting bones as you can. If you need padding under that one, feel free to pad extra. Lengthen from your sitting bones up, spine open. Exhale and turn into your twist on that other side. Hands on the floor or your leg, we're gonna dive our dolphins. So ribs back, exhaling, coming down with your forehead towards your knee, and then rotate face forward, crown to the ceiling, coming up to the sun and the sky. And see your happy dolphin taking advantage of that warm water and ocean breeze. Breathing as you exhale down and inhale up. So just go through that again, spine range of motion through your whole back of your body as you are the dolphin doing your diving through the waves, enjoying that beachy atmosphere and relaxing. Inhale coming up. Exhale and turn back to the center and unwind your legs and come back into staff. Realign whatever you need to and get ready for our balancing to the other side. So bring your foot up to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, adjust those sitting bones as much as you need. Bend the other knee, heel back toward your hip and again, sink down as much into both sitting bones as it's right. Stretch up through your spine, exhale, and turn to that first knee. Hands on either side or on your leg, and dive your dolphin. Exhale, ribs back, round forward, chin tucked in, forehead down. Inhale, face forward, crown up, chest expanding toward the sun and the sky. And one more time, enjoy your dolphin as you work through that range of motion for your body. Sinking back into that forward bend and lifting in the back bend, letting your spine go through its entire range of motion. Don't forget to be breathing as well, using that whole lung capacity. Exhaling, emptying completely as you come forward. Just dive that dolphin under the water and then inhale up to the sun and the sky. Expand fully through your heart and your chest as you come up. And again, allow your dolphin to have its fun as long as it wants to. And when you're back up to the sun and the sky, exhale and turn forward and bring your legs into staff position again. Take a moment, letting your spine align, your body stretch out, and your breath be full and deep. So we're gonna do a twist. So bring one foot again to the inner thigh. Keep that extended leg to the front with the knee and toes up. Take your extended front leg hand to the opposite knee and bring the other arm out at shoulder level. Shoulder blades down, shoulders down, crown reaching up, stretch your spine apart. Exhale, follow that hand around behind you into the twist and then bring it to the floor close to your body and stretch from your sitting bones up and then exhaling, turn hips, ribs, shoulder, everything looking behind you 
You can leverage with your hand on the knee if you love twists and you want more. You can bring that hand behind you slightly toward the opposite hip if you also really love a twist and want more. But don't forget, you want to be stretching your spine apart through the whole thing so it has room to move. And when you're ready to release, bring the hand behind you up. Exhale, follow it back around to the center and release the hand. Lift your knee, align things as you bring it back out into staff position. And we're lopsided. We can't do that before our relaxation, so we have to balance. Other foot comes up to your inner thigh. Balance your body into your sitting bones, up through the spine. Knee and toes are up on that extended leg. Keep them that way. You can kind of roll in from that top of the thigh to make sure it's aligned. And again, opposite hand comes to the knee. Other arm comes out in front, shoulder level. Stretch that spine apart so it can twist. And then exhale and follow your hand around into the twist, no jerking. Hand to the mat or floor close to you and stretch up. Exhale and turn deeper into your twist as much as you and your body need and want this morning. So your hips move, your ribs move, your shoulder moves, your whole body turns, that whole spine working into the twist, not just turning your head. Maximize or minimize, you know what's right for your body. You can move that hand further behind you. You can leverage on the knee with that other hand if you want to move deeper or not, your choice. Don't forget to breathe. And then bring the hand back to shoulder level, exhale it around to the center, and again, releasing back into staff. Feel your spine. Notice your body should feel aligned and balanced and ready for relaxation. So go ahead, feet at the end of the mat, core working as you roll back down onto your spine, onto your back, relaxing, hands near your sides, palms up, shoulders, shoulder blades down, a little arch under your lower back, and feet either straight up or slightly out toward the sides. So kind of roll those thighs in, deep breaths, just relax your whole body down and allow everything to sink into that surface beneath you. And as always, during our relaxation, just breathe deep, let anything that still has tension release all the tightness. Just breathe it, exhale it, and relax. So if you remind me on Wednesday, I'll do the contraction relaxation, take a little bit longer for our relaxation on Wednesday. So deep breaths, just letting your body melt and sink. And as your body releases into that earth embrace, just allow your mind to release all awareness of your body. Let it drift, releasing the content of your thoughts. And as your mind fills with peace, just let your body fill, your mind, your whole being be peace and calm, quiet, and relaxation. Draw in awareness. Release anything that's inhibiting that peace.
and stay relaxing or just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the room, back to your body. Breathe more deeply and move your body gently whenever you are ready to do that. Begin stretching more as you feel comfortable doing that. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bend your knee, draw your body into that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work this morning. And the work your body does every day for you. And when you're ready to release, just roll to the side, sit back up, and hopefully keep that yoga calm for the rest of the day and the week ahead. So thanks for joining me this morning.